Hey guys, we're back and today I'm going to have an informative video for you guys about all the kill streaks or score streaks, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> these, these past Call of Duties have me hooked on score streaks, uh, that phrase, I constantly use that, but these are kill streaks unless you're using the perk point, man. But today I want to break down what are the best kill streaks, what are the you know most fun, you know, you know how they work and in what situations they work best. So we're just gonna go down the line uh, and go one by one and explain each score streak uh, and let you guys know all there is to know about it and hopefully you'll learn something today. And the first one is the personal radar. This is a really great low streak. Uh, I mean, three kills if you have hard lines too. Uh, just to give you a little bit of idea where enemies are around you, it pings nearby enemies. Uh, definitely one that people should use all the time and one I do use all the time if I'm against really competitive players and you know you know you're not gonna get high kill streaks you know put on a nice personal radar and it'll help you out a bit a, a bunch so definitely a solid uh, one to use and I'm going to rate these uh, a all the way down to F in terms of how good they are uh, and this one's gonna get a solid B rating um, the reason I give it a B is because I do find it, that especially like I get more value from uh, these other streaks. And the chances are like there's a ton of people using Ghost. So when they have Ghost on, this won't show anything. And for this to work, it's, you know, you have to be pretty close to the enemy. So it's, it's definitely still good, uh, but it doesn't just hit that, it doesn't hit that A level for me. Uh, the shield turret, I mean, you can just place it down. It's obviously, it's not really supposed to be a competitive uh, kill streak. It, it's mostly for fun, and you can have fun with it. You can place it down, like, looking at, like, a, a B flag or, or or any, like, a flag in Domination. And you can you can have some fun with it. I've actually tried it in that kind of sense, and it's quite fun. Uh, but it's a low streak, so if you want to have fun with it, go for it. But if you actually look at how good it really is, or, I would give it, honestly, like, a D or an F. But to be, you know... So I would give it an F if I had to choose one. It's just, it's just not good. But it can be fun, so uh, try it out if you want. Uh, the third one is Counter UAV. Uh, this is very good. Uh, pretty low cost streak. Uh, I would only give this a B though, because uh, it's not like your old Counter UAVs where it covers the whole map. You actually only have to place it. It only encompasses like the circle. So wherever the circle uh, is at, or wherever you place it on the map, like you're kind of like uh, wherever it covers, uh, that's the only place that kind of blocks uh, UAV or blocks their radar. So it's still really good, but you can easily shoot it down. I mean, really easily shoot it down. Uh, and the reason that it's not A is because you got the UAV uh, in the same slot. And as you guys know, you can only use uh, one of each slot. So if I take this off, I see if I when I try to put it on something else, I can't. You can only have one in each uh, kill slot, so it's either the UAV or the counter UAV if you're choosing a, a four kill slot. So because the UAV is in this four kill slot, uh, that's kind of why the counter UAV kind of goes down in, in the ratings for me because the UAV is like god tier. Everyone knows UAV is super 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 good. Uh, and the fact of the matter is, it's not just a, uh, a radar. You're not just getting pings for you. The, your, your whole team can see the pings. So that's why it's just so much better than the personal radar. And it's only one kill more uh, to, to earn it. So the UAV has just a, always been a god tier streak. Like, it's just, it's so good. It is so good. Uh, especially in this game, you think there's a ton of people using Ghost. And some of them are wising up, but people are so greedy and they're like trying to use like kill chain and they're trying to use like hard line and stuff but you, that's really risky like i run ghost all the time because if you're spot on the map it's just you're just gonna die like and yeah you know, i just like and if you're playing with me and you don't have ghost on like you just you really you just want to die like you you actually don't want to live uh you have to run uh ghost uh because the uav is so powerful because the type of game this is um being detected it's just a, that's a nightmare uh but there are some maps where you can get away without using ghosts but that's a long-winded way of saying this is super 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 good uh i almost always have it on 
Uh, sometimes I'll be greedy and try to do stuff, but that's just for fun. All right, moving on, we have the care package. It's pretty random uh, what you get, but it's only four kills to get it, to earn it. It's honestly pretty good. I would honestly put it in like the B range. Uh, yeah, you have to collect it, but it doesn't take long to collect. It's not like it takes forever in some of the other COD games to come down. So really quality kill streak right here. You could get, you know, some some good kill streaks. Uh, most of the time you're getting kill streaks from like, you know, five and down. I mean, I've gotten a wheel sim before. I'm not sure if I've gotten anything better than a wheel sim though. But definitely it's worth using. Uh, and you can't say that about all COD games in terms of care packs. But this one's definitely worth using. But again, it's in the same kills as the UAV, so it kind of comes down in power level. Um, now we got the uh, cluster strike, the cl cruise missile, and the precision air strike. So I'm going to talk about all three, three of these at the same time. Uh, what, are the, what are the differences between these three? They're very similar. All three of these are, you know, you bomb some area, right? <laughs> that's generally what it is. It's like a giant, giant grenade. <laughs> it's just that's plummeting from the sky, essentially. So what is, what's the differences between these three and which one of these three is the best? All right, so the cluster strike controls an area more. And why does it control an area? Because there's four rounds that come down and hit. So what that does, it prevents an enemy from literally being in that area for a decent amount of time. So it's like, I want to say it's like 10 seconds, maybe a little less. I actually don't know the exact time. But during those four strikes, cluster strikes that come down, uh, you cannot be in that area or you will die. So, very, very good. Um, this is very similar. Oh, and I, I have to add with this, you have to actually manually aim it. So, you can't just, like, call it in and then pick a spot on your mini-map. You actually have to, like, in the actual run of the game, play of the game, you have to, like, point it at an area and then you can use it. So, that does make it uh, worse. Uh, this is the same thing as, honestly, the Cluster Strike, except it comes in way, way faster but it does not uh, take as long the duration to cover that area. So it comes in, two planes come in, and they just, you know, wreck the area with, uh, you know, their machine gun run, whatever it is, uh, and then they're gone. So it's a less amount of time in terms of covering an area where the enemy cannot uh, move into, but it does come in faster, so you can catch a lot of uh, enemies by surprise. And the cruise missile is different than these two because you don't have to aim it. Where both of these two, you have to aim it while you're running the play. This one, you do, you know, go into the sky view. You, you, you know, you control the missile, uh, which makes this the best one. Um, just being able to control it and being able to shoot it from wherever you are and not having to aim it is is the single reason why this is the best one. Uh, but it is closely followed by the cluster strike because the power level of covering an area and making it so that they cannot capture that point that you're like barraging with the cluster missiles uh, is very, very valuable. Uh, so don't underestimate the value of that. Um, but by no means are any of these bad. Uh, I would give this, if I had to rate them, A, or the cruise missile A, cluster B, and this I'll give a C. Uh, now we're moving on to the seven kills. Uh, infantry assault vehicle. I don't want to talk about this too much. It's not. It's it's for fun, right? This, this is a thing for fun. You go move around in it. Uh, it is quite fun, uh, and you just you roll around it. And you're shooting people, uh, but it's actually not terrible. So I would give it a C. Uh, you can have quite a bit of fun, especially in like domination. You can just like guard a flag, or you can just go into right into the enemy uh, territory and start blowing them up. It is quite fun. Uh, the sentry gun. I would also give like a C. It takes a while for it to lock on and spin up the sentry gun. But at the same time, it does do what kind of like the cluster strike does. It kind of covers an area so you can like place it near like flag B. Uh, and this makes it so the enemy has to kill the sentry gun before they capture B uh, or, or any or like a heart or, um, or a headquarters. You can use it in headquarters uh, and you can get a lot of time on a headquarters point if you place one of these down. But, again, the lock-on time's a little slow. It's not the most durable sentry gun, but it's definitely usable. So I'll give it a C. Uh, definitely not a go-to for me, but 
uh, you can definitely have some fun with it. And it does look cool. It's actually one of the better looking sentry guns we've had in a while. So there's that, if that's any consolation. The Wilson uh, is remotely controlled by you. So that right there makes it really, really bad. Uh, but it is pretty powerful. It's like a moving sentry gun, which if you imagine a sentry gun that's moving and you can control that, that's, that's where you can imagine it's pretty good. So again, I would kind of put this in the C range. Uh, I have a really great clip of this, uh, which I'll show you guys in my montage coming up, but, uh, I have to give it a C. Maybe at best it's a B. I'm going to have to use it a little bit more to get an understanding, but it is smaller. It can maneuver pretty well. So maybe there is something there, uh, but it's definitely a lot of fun. High level of fun with this uh, Wilson uh, and high level of fun with the, uh, the infantry assault vehicle. Moving on to the H streaks, uh, eight kills. The emergency airdrop, I mean, it's three care packages. Uh, I rate this like a C just because you're, you're likely to get lower streaks and you're likely to like to, to get all three like you could just go to the back of the map I guess and place them down and you can get it um, but overall the real reason it's like a C is one because you're getting like lower streaks and two because it's in place of the VTOL <laughs> and the VTOL jet let me tell you is the best streak in the game uh, by far I mean for me it's easily the best streak in the game and I'll give you the reasons why uh, the first reason is it's only eight kills, right? It's eight kills for you to bomb an area. So it's basically like, uh, I would say it's closest to like an airstrike or a, any of these, honestly, uh, any of these two. It, it bombs an area first, wherever you place it on the map, it bombs it and then it'll come back down and then it'll like guard it for like a pretty long time. And it's only eight kills. So basically you're getting like a, one of these and you're getting like a uh like a support helo almost for like an area like a certain designated area and that's that's really good and this thing is like it's not like it doesn't have like semi good like lock on this thing has straight up aimbot like it's it's i mean it's crazy like this thing can really melt uh and it really does work it's easily the best streak in the game not even like i'm not even it's not even like a question like I don't have to be like, ah, no, it is the best streak in the game. Uh, super, super good. Can control, uh, like, domination flags. It can control, like, headquarters areas. Uh, and, and the power level is in all these different areas where, like, the same reason this cruise missile is good is the same reason this is good and more because the cruise missile, you can, like, you can call it in from anywhere and you place it on your main map. The same thing with the VTOL jet, except it does even more than the cruise missile does by far and it's only eight kills best streak in the game unbelievably good that's a god tier streak it's like <laughs> uh and it's saying a lot when a streak is better than the uav so there you go um now you have the white phosphorus this is a very fun streak to use uh it is actually very good uh is it worth 10 kills i think it is i think it is but i would give it like I want to give it an A, honestly. I really do. I think it's actually that good, but the the uh, I don't know, the COD player in me says that maybe it's like a B, but I'm gonna say A. I really do think it's that good, and I think it's going to be worth the ten kills. Every time I've used it, it really does. It not only bombs the area, but then it it hinders the enemy team from moving quite a bit. Uh, I just think it's really strong, so I'm gonna give this A. Chopper Gunner, I mean, yeah, it's it's an A as well. It's very good. Uh, it's worth the 10 kills. It can get shot down uh, pretty quickly sometimes, but because it's not AI controlled, cold blood doesn't work. You can still, you know, kill the enemy. Um, so I'll give that A as well. Just quality streaks here. Support Helo. Uh, I would give it like a B just because a B or an A, it's in the middle there. It's 11 kills for this support copter and it does like cover the whole map. It does do work if it's not taken care of. But the thing is cold blooded, if someone's using cold blooded uh, and they take it down, it can be taken down pretty darn fast, especially the same way this can. 
So I would give it a B just because of that aspect of, you know, it can be taken down, it, they can just have cold-blooded, something like that. Because uh, every time I've used it, it actually hasn't done as much as I would want it to have done, but that's all right. <laughs> uh, maybe they can buff it a little bit. Uh, that's probably the only streak I would say to buff a little bit. But I'll go back into that after I finish this out. Gunship is kind of nuts, but it is 12 kills, so I would hope it would be nuts. <laughs> uh it really does wreck i mean you can't take it out of the sky easily at all i don't think i've seen one being taken out of the sky actually so that's that's how it should be for a 12 streak uh i'll give that an a it's worth the 12 kills if you can manage it but nothing is going to be god tier when you get this high i mean it's unless it was like that good of a streak um this is uh very fun. I would say this one's very fun to use. I it just you feel really powerful using it. So uh, definitely enjoy using this one. I recommend you guys trying trying to get to that 12 uh, to to use it. The advanced UAV. I actually got this once. Oh, that's right. I got this out of a care package. That's the, this is the highest thing I got out of a care package. I forgot. Uh, wow. I really high roll with that care package. <laughs> I didn't realize. Okay. Yeah. So the advanced UAV. I don't think it's good. I used it and I got in the care package and I used it. It got shot down so fast. So I'm going to have to say I mean I've only used it once but through that one experience I would have to give it either a C or a D because it just got shot down like almost instantly which is insane. Um, moving on to Juggernaut. This is the... <laughs> I mean, 15 kills. This thing's a monster. You feel like a god when you're in this suit. You cannot die, basically. Uh, you know, it's like... Honestly, it's like a B or a C just because it's such a high kill streak. You can't really rate it that high. But it is a ton of fun and highly recommend you guys saying a challenge for yourself. Try to get it. Uh, it it's it's amazing uh, and just quite fun. You just, you just feel like you can't die. You're just a super soldier on the field. Uh, so that is a ton of fun. So... To conclude this, I would just say uh, maybe the buffs or nerfs I would like to see out of these is basically only maybe make the sentry gun a little bit better. I don't know. It's in a pretty good spot. It's only seven kills, so maybe that's that's all. I'm on the fence with that. Haven't used it enough. The 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 support helo I think needs a buff. I know that may sound crazy. I'm pretty sure it needs a little bit of buff. Like maybe make it just like hard to kill or something. Uh, and that's honestly the only critique I have, believe it or not, of the kill streaks. I like everything else. Um, as the year goes on, what I'd like to see, and tell me if you guys agree with this in the comments below, and you know, let me know what you think about my thoughts uh, in the comments below in this video. Uh, tell me what you guys want to see throughout the year, or tell me if there's like buffs or, uh, or nerfs that you want to see uh, with these kill streaks. Uh, but I do want to see throughout the year is you see how there's a, a gap between the eight and the ten kills. There should be nine kills in there and twelve and thir uh, fifteen. I think I honestly th I really want them to add like uh, nine kill streaks. That would be so cool if they could add nine kill streaks uh, and then maybe like add like a thirteen or fourteen uh, in there. I mean, because why not? People would love if they did that. They would absolutely love it. Um, so hopefully, uh, they do something like that. And that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, I love my score streaks. I always love talking about, uh, you know, kill streaks and etc. Uh, what I think of them and I'm always begging for more because they're so much fun to use. It's what makes Call of Duty Call of Duty, whether people realize that or not. Like, the difference between Battlefield, Call of Duty, you know, you, Battlefield doesn't have kill streaks and, you know. Uh, it, it, it makes a world difference in the gameplay. It makes it a lot of fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next.